Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's reading is for divine soulmates. All right, we will be looking at the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's energy. And yeah, I think that is all I have to say. Um, actually, actually, before we do get started, let me just give a quick thank you to all of my returning clients, especially those of you who have been getting readings from me on a regular basis. It has helped me out so, so much this past year and it still is. So just, I just want to express my gratitude. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's get into the reading. Let's see what is going on with the masculines. And then we will also look at the feminines energies. Um, do keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. It may or may not resonate with you. That is okay. We just can't tap into everybody's energy every single time. So let's see what is currently going on with the masculines in the connective for divine and soulmate connections. Okay, and we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Um, so this would be the root chakra. So, and I'm actually getting a very positive feeling with this. Like the masculine is actually grounding, grounding themselves. Um, feeling more secure within their own body and within their own environment and even feeling more confident when it comes to to their own decisions that it's actually everything is going to be okay um, let's see what else yeah I'm not picking up on an imbalance in this chakra it's actually quite the opposite feeling like you know a, a greater sense of stability in everything It's also coming in as overcoming fears, overcoming fears of possibly things not being stable or of things um, becoming unstable based on their decisions. All right, and the next one is number 18. Again, I don't remember the word for this, for this card, but I do remember um, what it represents and it is moving away from something that just doesn't feel right. Um, as you can see, this figure here is running away um, from whatever it is that is not serving. So it's actually very positive. So what I'm getting with this as a combination is that they're feeling a lot more confident um, when it comes to moving away from situations that do not serve them or that are, are not healthy for them and not having a fear anymore about this creating instability in their lives or in their own self. So whatever that is for each of them, because it's going to be different, okay, for, for each of them, it's not going to be the same. All right, let's get, actually, before we get into the tarot, let's just pull a couple for the, for the feminines. And then we'll go back to the masculines. So let's see if we're going to what is going on. Oh, okay. First card out is hostilities. What is this about? Hmm. Feminines. What is this? Let's see. All right. And we got two here. We have karma and we have... Um, which is the number 20, the karma card. And then we have number 13, which is isolation. Okay. I feel like there's some karma that's playing out for the feminines right now. Um, this may or may not be related to your masculine or to the connection with your masculine, but something is definitely playing out here. And again, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, I'm getting that for some of you. This might have to do with your masculine, but it's not necessarily... Um, the masculine for you like it could be somebody else like a mutual like a mutual friend or a mutual acquaintance or just somebody here I do feel like there's a person involved um, and again this message might not resonate for all of you okay um, it doesn't mean that the rest of the reading won't but it could be that this is just a very specific message um, I feel like there's a person here and that karma is actually resolving and it could be somebody who was a little bit spiteful, who felt um, maybe even revengeful, 
but there's a hostile energy here and it's like karma is playing out with this person in some way. Um, now, other than that, I feel like the feminine is actually trying to isolate him or herself. Um, so it could be that some of you are kind of just um, closing off to your own self, um, kind of hiding out, just keeping, keeping quiet or keeping to your own self in some way, especially in regards to this connection. Or, and if you're not, if there is something that's playing out um, in your life right now, and I mean, if this is not related to your masculine, it could be something that is indirectly related and you might not even realize that. Like it could be some kind of a karmic lesson that you are learning. Um, and that is actually helping in your healing in some way, which then brings you into an alignment, which then is related to your masculine because it's going to help to clear your energy. Okay. Um, so if... If you do feel like something like that is happening in your life, the message here for you is to kind of, you know, allow it to play out, okay, with this isolation card. Like, don't, don't get involved in drama. Don't allow yourself to get involved in drama. Allow it to just play out um, as passively as you can. So, um, and of course, I mean, there might be a small group of you, I'm really not getting this for most of you, but there might be a small group of you that you actually feel um, a little bit of resentment still towards your masculine, which would be understandable. Um, and again, it's like, you don't need to do anything, okay, is what the, the message is saying here. You don't need to do anything. Karma will balance everything out. So... Yeah, take those as they resonate. All right, let's see. Um, or maybe even towards another person, if it's not the masculine. Maybe it's, you know, um, a karmic partner, either on the masculine side or on your side. Again, the message is the same. All right, so let's see what is going on with the masculines, just in general. Let's take a look at their energy overall. All right, and we have, they're all upright. We have the star, the empress, and the six of swords. Yeah, they're definitely moving away from something here. Um, they're moving away from, from conflict or from anything that was holding them back, something from their past. For a lot of them, this could even be like, um, it could be a mother figure, and this isn't um, a karmic reading. All right, which is involving other people, but it definitely, it definitely could be. All right, I feel like the masculine is really um, coming into alignment here from the looks of it. Healing certain situations, and this might even be like, because um, I'm not getting so much that it's the feminine here. Okay, this is just their, their general energy. It might even be issues that they might have from a mother figure from the past, even if um, that person is not in their lives at the moment, there's something here that they're definitely healing. And because of that, that's helping them to move forward. So yeah, it's it does seem to be a little bit vague, but we'll see. But it is in line with um, what we got up here, right, with the Oracle cards. So we might clarify these, but before we do, let's see a little more specifically their energy towards their feminine. of these are now in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Um, before I say anything about this, I just want to say one last thing about this Empress card here. It could even be um, if they have a partner or or someone who is um, a mother to their children, that could also be represented by this by this Empress, okay? Um, but basically it could be just about anybody who is serving that kind of a um, role in their lives is what I'm getting. 
Um, okay, so here, for their energy towards their feminine, okay, it's pretty interesting energy. We will clarify. Um, there's a lot of loneliness here. There's a lot of loneliness, um, there's been a lot of fear, but both of these cards are in reverse, so I do feel like they're coming out of that. However, with the Two of Cups being in reverse, it's like feeling a lack of that love. So, let me just clarify real quick. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and then we have the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Cups, as well as the Fool. All right. So they're feeling like there's, there's been a shift. There's been a shift that's not, that's not favorable to them. It's making them feel extremely, extremely lonely. So I, I feel like this, um, the shift is very likely coming from the feminine's energy. So if you have been detaching, then that would that would make a lot of sense here. If you feel like you've been detaching energetically in some way from the masculine, or if you haven't been really focusing your attention on them. And this is actually um, serving to get them unstuck in some way, to get them out of their headspace. Because I feel like there's been a lot of a lot of fear concerning that two of cups with their feminine. There was something that was keeping them stuck in their head about it. And it's like now there's this shift that has taken place, which again, it's not pleasant for them. It's not in their favor. It's making them feel like they've lost. All right, six of wands in reverse and the five of cups. I mean, this two of cups in reverse, yeah, they feel like they have lost you. They feel like they have lost this love. And that's making them feel a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, a lot of um, pain. For a lot of them, even remorse. However, this is serving to get them out of their head, like whatever it is that was keeping them feeling stuck or feeling trapped from this, whatever the fears were concerning this connection. Because now all of a sudden they're feeling like they didn't win. They don't have what it is that, that would make them happy, number one. Number two, they feel like you're not recognizing them or that you're not like after them anymore, chasing or um, it's almost like they feel unacknowledged, but obviously there's a reason for that and it's, it's serving a purpose here. Okay, and that's why we have the Fool because this is, as the last card out here clarifying, because this is actually pushing them towards doing something differently, taking a new path, taking a risk. Okay. Let's clarify that top row, just quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna take the first one because way too many flipped over here. All right, and it is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely action that's happening here. Whatever this is that they're moving away from and whatever it is that um, they're being guided towards, it's happening pretty quickly. There's a lot of action here that's being taken in their general life, um, not necessarily towards the feminine, although, of course, anything we get here will be in some way related to their feminine. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do we want to look into? 
Let's take a look at the feminine's energy and then we'll take a quick look at what is coming up. Two of cups in reverse, six of cups in reverse. <laughs> so, okay, mirroring each other here. Um, two of wands, and I had one more flip over, which is the eight of pentacles. Okay, so yeah, it's very clear here. You, if this is resonating for you, you're not focused on the masculine at the moment. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't any sadness or that there isn't any like nostalgia or longing for this, but I feel like it's not. Um, it's just coming in as more like um, like a laid back type of a nostalgia, like more like, okay, I can do this. And I feel like you're just really focusing your energy on other things, like possibly your work or maybe like a hobby, something else. I feel like you have really taken a step back from the connection with the masculine. So this is what the masculine is picking up on. And that's why they're feeling like that emptiness. They're, they're, yeah, that's, that's what this is. It's like emptiness. They're feeling empty. And that's, that's why even they have the Two of Cups. And they feel like they've lost this. And there's a lot of sadness over this. But again, it's pushing them to do something different. And I know, <laughs> you might be like, well, what is it? What is that something different? I don't know, because that was the clarifier. So I can't, <clears throat> I actually can't clarify the clarifier. I mean, I could, but I'm feeling guided not to. So, and it's going to be different anyway for each of them. Um, let's see, let's see if we get anything else for the feminines. Right, four of cups in reverse and the nine of cups yeah okay so this is um again it's like the same message coming through there is a part of you that would still want this okay with the nine of cups like this is something that you still feel has the potential to fulfill you obviously all right if it's a divine um soulmate connection but four of cups in reverse it's like you um you're not so interested at the moment or at least you don't you don't want this connection in the way that it has been presenting itself, at least recently or lately, or the way things were. You want things to be um, more balanced. Okay, so let's see. What is coming up? What is this leading to for the masculines coming up next week or so? King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, Justice, and the last card almost that almost flipped over was the um, Magician. Wow. Okay. This is this is a lot actually. They're all upright and they're all extremely positive. Um, number one, this King of Pentacles, right? It's totally representing that root chakra being balanced, right? Feeling that sense of security, stability, um, responsibility. I feel like really like anything that was like really like shaken up in their lives or anything that was like out of place, the masculine is totally moving towards really getting that under control and feeling a lot more secure within their own selves. And not only that, but also just trusting. So this is representing the material world, right? The physical. And then we also have the Queen of Cups. So there's also a lot of emotions and intuition also here. And all of that is coming into balance. It's like something is really balancing out here for the masculines. And because of that, there's something that they're able to manifest and bring into reality. And I feel like that it's actually that balance that's going to be manifested, right? The balance of 
the physical as well as the emotional. Like, whatever it is that they're feeling and whatever it is that they feel like they're being guided towards, right? Because with the star, that's also um, having that divine guidance. It's like they're listening to it. They're receptive to that. And because of that, yes, um, karma is also playing out for them as well. For a lot of them, this could even represent, um, if there is a, a, a third party or a karmic situation, which doesn't have to be a person, um, this could be a major decision that is happening here, which is actually like being manifested and it's also, it's working out both in the physical as well as, as emotionally, there being that balance in order for a major decision to be made and to actually be manifested. So it does feel um, pretty in line also with the previous reading um, that I did. So it might be a similar group that I'm tapping into here. All right, let's see for the feminines. This also feels like the masculine really wanting to to make something right. To make something right towards you, right? Feeling that, feeling those emotions for you, but wanting in the physical to actually like do something physically to balance something out, to make something right. This might even be for some of you related to that karma that I was talking about in the beginning in your energy, like this hostilities card for some of you could be representing your masculine and um, some manipulative or deceptive behavior that may have come from them. And that could be the karma that is playing out now where it's like you're isolating, you're not even doing anything and all of this is just like playing out. Let's see. Any messages here for the feminines? The Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, because the masculines had that six of wands in reverse um, in their energy there towards you. I definitely feel like this is um, them trying to make something right um, <clears throat> with you. And now we're having the, we have the queen of cups, now we have the king of cups. They're definitely trying to make something right. For some of you, it's going to be like literally in the physical where you can actually um, see it, feel it, touch it, right? For others of you, even if it is in the physical, like it might not be like directed at you. So you might not be aware of what that is, okay? Because it might be something that they're doing in their own life, which is related to the situation with you. Either way, I feel like you are attaining your, your own goals. You are attaining your own goals and it's like you're getting some kind of a, you're, you're getting some kind of a victory here. And I feel like that's going to make you feel really, really good. And actually, like for, for some of you, this might even be related to whatever that karma situation was up there that I was talking about. And I feel like that's especially, you know, going to be true for you, again, if you don't participate in drama. And I feel like that's what the Six of Swords um, in reverse is saying. It's like a precaution, like, you know, don't, don't get stuck. Don't get involved in anything that is going to appear um, <clears throat> as drama or as conflict. Allow the past to be the past of whatever it is that may have happened. Karma is playing out on its own. And you, in that way, you will be very emotionally stable. You will, you know, you will be in this energy of love, maintain that energy of love. And it's like you are going to be um, successful in some way throughout all of this. Yep. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm actually keeping it kind of short this time um, because I do also plan to get another reading out hopefully over the weekend. So let's close this out with a couple of oracle cards, one or two. Ding. All right, we have chop wood. Things are happening. That's what this is about. Things are happening. And I feel like you're, you're being asked to stay focused on whatever tasks it is that you are focusing on at the moment, okay? And if, if you're not, if you don't feel like, you know, this is um, actually the energy that you are in, take it, take it as guidance. All right, focusing your energy away from the masculine and towards something else in your life that, you, that you're feeling called towards. And I feel like that's what this chop wood is for you, for the feminine and for the masculine. It's that they are actually chopping wood. Like there are things that are happening here. Let's just get one more. Things are getting resolved. And I feel like it's a lot of like little things. Um, rather than like one big thing. I feel like it's like a lot of little things that are just kind of um, resolving, like tying up loose ends, like that kind of thing. All right, and we have loyal heart. So yeah, that's, <laughs> your heart is loyal, right? The masculine's heart is loyal, the feminine's heart is loyal, um, at least on a soul level, all right? So spirit is just reminding you of that, okay? Take it as it resonates. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I thank you so much for watching. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. But of course, feel free um, to email me if you have any questions. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.